this one I've put off for a while. It's been in my watch list for several weeks. I think it's been several weeks. It's been, it was all the way up at the top of my list, which means it was one of the early ones I put in. But I have to be in the right mood to watch something like this. Just the subject matter, I know it's going to be pretty sad to me. Well, because it's about Anton Yelchin. It's a documentary about him. It's called Love and Tasha or Antosha. I'm not, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but anyway, it's a documentary about him. And I saw it floating around a few weeks ago and I bookmarked it because I wanted to check it out. But it, there were a couple things holding me back. It's three minutes long. This video is three minutes long, which is pretty hefty. And also it just, it's so sad to think about him and the horrible way this poor kid died. I mean, I, yeah, he was, he was an adult. He was like 27, 28, but to me, he's a kid. You know, that's just, he just seemed like so childlike and young. He's always like a kid to me. And anybody younger than me is like a kid anyway. So whatever. Okay. Forget that. But it, it just makes me so sad to think about him. And the year that he died was a terrible year for our family personally. And it just seems to be like a, just a black year that whole year. There were a lot of pretty prominent celebrity deaths. And, you know, since the year was already kind of bad and sad, those things seem to compound it. And then this news about him and he died on Father's Day. I mean, can you imagine the pain his parents must have felt? I mean, I mean, it, it doesn't matter what any day would be bad, but a day like that just seems to just seems to compound the pain, I would think. You know, it's like a loved one passing on Christmas Day or something like that, you know. So anyway, I'm sitting here jabbering too much because I think I'm I'm kind of trying to delay watching this because it just makes me so sad when I think about him. So um, I'm going to just go ahead and jump right in this and let's see what, what it's like. The thrill of making movies and studying characters and getting to work with people that you respect and admire is so far superior to everything else in art. At least for me, you know, that's how I, how I think about things. Yeah, I'm not to be. The actor is with me, and you are shooting yet again something. Yeah. It was the first thing I called. Oh, it's so little. I to do this. I want to make movies. Really, the last number of years, you've done so much. Next tonight, here to the stunning death of Polly. Police are saying it appeared to be a freak accident that killed the 27-year-old actor. The random events that had to occur for this to happen were, were just cataclysmically unfair. Right. So true. My parents came to this country not knowing a word of English and just started to work. My mom, I owe her everything for believing oh, in So sad. He had a curiosity that with most people degrades over time. I so kind of baffled by how good he was. I wanted to be better, smarter, cooler, but couldn't even hang with him. Who he was as an artist was so far beyond acting. Because he could, like, do everything. Hmm. Yeah, he seemed pretty versatile. <laughs> he started doing these photo shoots in the valley on the side. I mean, he was the kind of guy that Photographer. For Chris Pine to be freaked out about what Anton did means it was out there. There's always that courage to go in crazy sense of humor. So, were you always confident that you are good enough to make it in the industry? I mean, I'm still not very confident in that. One more, try away. He was always going further than the rest of us. I don't think he gave himself much of a break. He was so intent to find situations that would challenge him. I want to make things and I want to express a particular point of view that I have. When she was little, every day she would try to cry, Dear Mommy, I love you so very much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's no gift. 
better than those. Okay, I knew I shouldn't have watched this. <laughs> I don't like to cry. I don't like to watch things that make me cry. <laughs> anyway, that's very sad. It just seemed like such a waste of life. Not a waste. No, not a waste. Like... <laughs> When I think of a waste of a life, I think of, like, when someone has done something destructive to themselves and, you know, their life has ended because of that. To me, that's a waste. He didn't, does not seem to have been the type of person that was doing that. He seemed like he was doing things in a very correct way as far as that goes you know um you know he wasn't abusing himself he wasn't hanging with destructive bad people he loved his family he was a good human being he was very talented and very curious and loved life and then this horrible ridiculous freak thing happened it's so tragic it's so so sad you know um, anyway, uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if I'll watch this. There, I have a Heath Ledger documentary on my computer that I've had on there for years and I haven't watched it because to me, that's a tragic story too. And so I don't know that I want to watch it. You know, I don't like to watch things that are very emotionally painful for me. So, I, you know, as much as I want to, you know, I'm curious to see these things about him, to see what the people he worked with said about him. I, I, I'm not sure that I want to watch it because I know it's going to make me very sad. Just this little 2 minute and 40 second trailer did it. So, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. But, um, I don't know that I can say I'm glad I watched it either. <laughs> it was put together well. It didn't seem long. It really, it did not, I think, because I was so uh, captivated by what I was watching in the little home video clips and stuff like that. But I'm not necessarily glad I watched it. There are very few trailers that I can say that about so far. This is one of them, but not because it's a bad trailer. Um, it's just the subject matter. It's, it's, it's so emotionally touching to me and um, so terribly sad what happened to this kid and it's not something I generally want to focus on too much because it's easy to get into a little bit of a funk about stuff. No, I didn't know him whatever, you know, and there are very few celebrities that, that they're passing uh, or their demise, you know, um, very emotionally impacts me. His was, he was one of them. Bill Bixby was another. Uh, but, you know, you can still connect with people on a human level. And it can, if, you know, it can, it can put you in a funk when you think about the sad things that happen to people. And anyway, you know, your own life is, uh, is already keeps you, your, your mind full, your head, you know, your your heart is full, your, your, your life is full, and you navigate the complications of your own life. And so sometimes you don't always want to be em emotionally impacted by the terrible things that, are, that have happened with other people. It sounds selfish to say that, and I'm not trying to sound that way, but it's like sometimes I just don't want, I, 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 I'm not always in the frame of mind that I want to intentionally make myself sad. I guess that's the best way to put it. And I think, you know, many people probably feel that way. Who wants to be sad? And this makes me sad. Maybe I'll watch it. If I do, I'll come back and I'll, I'll post about it. But um, anyway, so yeah, 
that's the, the this was a weird one and I'm sorry if y'all think it was strange but I had been curious to check it out and so I have and that's this one later guys bye